Hi you guys, so today we're going to do some notification sounds and uh, before that I'd like to thank you for all the good comments and good uh, feedbacks and good vibes that I'm receiving over uh, Facebook and YouTube and uh, uh, LinkedIn and Instagram, so uh, it's really cool. And uh, today what we're going to do is try to create uh, notification sounds. I'm going to use first of all the Spector okay so this is a really nice synthesizer and we're going to use uh, this sound here 100 beltons okay so when you want to create a notification sound you want to uh, use intervals of a uh, fifth and an octave and you want to go up so it should sound something like that. Okay, so I'm going to the pitch bend here. Okay, and I'm drawing this sound that goes up. Alright, so now you hear that it can, that it goes up okay but it needs to go at least an octave up so i'm going to go inside the specter here we have the pitch bend range i'm going to change it to 12. Okay, it doesn't sound really good yet Alright, let's try to do this even higher. The reason I don't, I should do it um, like just with the pitch bend, but uh, the thing is that I don't have one right now because it's broken. So I just trying to um, to do it manually here. Right, but it's supposed to be like much easier if you do this with a real pitch bend, obviously. So just going to take it back to zero. All right, good. Now we can um, play with the transpose, okay? And can make it much quicker, right? Now there is a delay that I think is not necessary. So let's go to the effects here, delay, all right. Now we can add some sounds. For example, I could I 
I could record these sounds with the mouth. I'm going to the vocal booth. All right, so let's check this out. All right, I like those three ones. Let's try to see how it goes here. Maybe we could we can put it at the end. All right. Now I'm going to use a glockenspiel which is found in the contact library. So there it is. I rendered it. Alright, so first of all, let's try to put it here. You see this little line here? This is the snap point. So I don't know why it's here in the middle of the event. So I'm just going to put it at the event start. Alright. Let's see what happens if I reverse this. Alright, that's not bad. Let's try to add um, like a pad sound. Okay, so maybe we should use... Um, let's see what there is in Halion Sonic. So I'm searching for a pad. Synth voice. It's not really good. That's nice. That gives us the sound of the glockenspiel, but with another synth inside of it. I just don't want to hear the delay, so let's remove the, the delay here. I don't really know where is it. I usually don't use the Halion Sonic. But here we have the delay feedback, so... <coughs> delay mix. Okay, that's done. So instead of that... Alright, so there you go, we have one sound uh, of notification. 
Okay, I'm going to put this in a group, right? Maybe we can add some reverb. So All right, that's not bad. All right, so for the, for the next one, we are going to search for some kind of uh, bell sounds. Okay, so I'm going to make a quick search here in media. Um, let's see what we have here. All right, that's not bad. I'm going to put it here. Let's search for um, something else. Piano. Okay, I'm going to put it here. Alright, so let's try and use those three. So first of all this one. so that gives us a few options as you can hear I just use intervals of fifth and octave right Alright, so I can't really figure out where the delay is, I just think this is the sample, the original sample, so I'm just going to make a render in place, and I'm going to just use this one, alright? And I'm going to add reverb in order to make the tail continue. So when I want the tail to continue, I use the reverb on the insert. Alright? Sounds much better than this. Good. Now let's see how it sounds with this. sounds the same actually and with this one all right that's interesting I'm going to reduce the volume here I'm going to render this one also and use the same trick Alright, so that could use as another notification. What about this one? Alright, that's not bad. We can use this. Alright, so I'm going to use those two and try to make it a little bit 
uh, more interesting. All right, so let's try and use the same things that we used here. So maybe this one here. What if we render this? And try to use So I'm going to use the same reverb. All right. Good. And now we are going to add Talion Sonic once again. Uh, this time maybe a Xilphone. Right. So I'm going to record another weird sound with my mouth. So this time... Let's add a little bit of re Let's try to compress those to see what happens. All right. And maybe we can add modulation. Maybe, I don't know, maybe chorus. Oh, that's nice. Sounds good. I'm just going to leave this one as is. So we created three different notification sounds. This is the first one. Second one. And third one. Alright, so that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time!